Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. That's the scene for the Thunder. Possessing the upside to be an evolutionary player, Chad Holmgren is built different. His gifts on display as they await tip-off at the Wells Fargo Center. Thunder, Sixers, coming right up. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, an April Fool's Day edition. Glad to have you with us. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Gordon Hayward. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, and it's Dort in at the small forward position. And for the 76ers, we've got Kelly Oubre, Maxi out there with Kyle Lowry. Then there's Tobias Harris, and it's Reed in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, Clark, on paper, a bit of a mismatch here. A clear favorite in this one. And, you know, that bodes well, I think, for the underdog because there's nothing to lose. Nobody's expecting you to prevail, and it gives you a chance to play, I think, with a lot of freedom. It'll be the Thunder off the tip. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Dort outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. They set a pick. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Their last encounter in Oklahoma City, where they were able to handle the Thunder. They really took a smart approach against this team the last time they faced off. Yeah, when a game gets snug, tight, that's where KG teams often execute and get easy offense. Either they get to the line or they get something inside, and if they do get to the line, they make them count. Yeah, the corner is a great spot for Harris. He works to get open over there. Kitty finds Holmgren. Down low. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That won't go for him. Now 0 for 2. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. Reed passes to Maxi. Now Lowry. Picked by Reed. It's Lowry with a drive. Shot clock at five. And here's Oubre from the arc. And the 76ers, another three. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Pass to Williams. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. And the D can't allow Gilgis Alexander to get this positioning because once he does, he makes you pay. Up top, Oubre. Lowry with it. Clock at six. Back to Maxi. The three is up. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And Clark, the elite offense of the 76ers, anchored by all their trips to the line. Yeah, and B.A., it begins with Joel Embiid. He's just unstoppable in the paint. He averages double-digit free throw attempts for his career. Maxi against Giddy. Now here's Maxi. He's closely guarded. The Thunder pull it in. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. An incredible fourth quarter response. It showed this team's character. I mean, they stunned everyone. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. 
approaches Alexander against Lowry. Pass to Maxi from behind the arc. Knocks down the triple. Big time answer by Maxi. Boy, was he dialed in there. And Kitty has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Trailing by two. Holmgren with a screen on Maxi. Here's Giddy. Now here's Holmgren. Lowry with a steal. To the paint. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Now here's Holmgren. No points so far. Williams, a screen on Oubre. Dort for three. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. The defense gives Shea all their attention, and that leaves another guy open and ready to score. Maxi against Giddy. Harris down low. Misses from close range. That's the shot you hope for, right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Outside, Williams. Back to Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, the thunder, another three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Maxie against Giddy. Picked by Reed for three. Maxie. And the 76ers, another three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Holmgren giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. It's Philadelphia with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them, but they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Now here's Harris. He had a 21-point out in their last game against the Raptors in Toronto. A pest down low. Those three blocks really affected guys attacking the hoop. So it's the Thunder now. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. And this is what makes SGA an all-star caliber talent. His ability to take over games. Maxi. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Oklahoma City has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. That one misses. Well, Grant, going into these back-to-back -back games, do you think coaches are more conscious of the disbursement of minutes in the first game? You know, they have an idea of the total number of minutes they want their superstar in over the two-day period. But it really comes down to how this first game goes. And the second free throw is good. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is a long one. Exactly, B.A. And let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator, finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. Outside, Williams. Outside, Giddy puts up a three. Williams misses. Philadelphia has gone four to five from distance here in the first quarter. For three, Lowry. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. And now it's a four-point Philadelphia lead. 
Hey, it's what every youth coach says. Follow your shot. This is why you do it, for those easy putbacks. They get the rebound. And the big finish by Holmgren. And this is what coach wants to see from Holmgren. I'll work in the defense to get a second chance look. Lowry finds Harris. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and they'll make him earn them from the line, and that's what you want to see. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. The free throw drops for Harris. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. And the 76ers making a change here. Heald's checked in. And Harris drops them both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Giddy against Maxi. Now here's Giddy. Defense right on him. And he banks in the layup. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. And it's Lowry with the ball for Philadelphia. Pass to Maxi. Here's Harris. Six to shoot. Giddy against Maxi. Shot from the wing. And Lowry with the bucket on the assist by Maxi. And the 76ers lead by four. Wallace, the pass to Giddy. Holmgren with it. Pass to Williams. Outside Giddy. Here's Wallace. And here is Williams. Three pointer. And a rebound by Lowry. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. The two is checked in for the Sixers. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Outside Maxi. Shot clock at six. Gets the 14 footer to fall. Maxi's got eight points. The big story thus far how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now, here's Williams in the game against New York. Very impressive. They set the pick, launches it, and he misses again. Now 0 for 3. The Sixers leading. Lowry surveys the D. A tomb outside. Three-pointer. Knocks down the long J. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. Here's Wallace. No made baskets yet. Pass to Joe. Back to Hayward. To halt the run. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Hayward. Let's check in on the Western Conference standings as the race to the playoffs continues. You take a look at the Thunder. This season has been an absolute dream for them. They're currently at number one as the postseason approaches.
I think for the Thunder, their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year, and they haven't disappointed them. It's been a terrific season, and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs. It's obvious their eyes have been squarely on the postseason for a while. It'll be fascinating to see if the regular season dominance carries over. Heald with the ball. Hayward picks him up, and he gets the bucket. You know, that's where the high release point of Latoon worked to his advantage, allowed him to get that shot off. Aaron Wiggins. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Nicholas Patoon. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. The Thunder have got 8 of 15 shots to go. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And he's having issues at the free throw line at the moment. In the past 10 games, his touch hasn't been the same as it was before. He'll be trying to correct that tonight. A minute 37 left to play in the first. Pass to Wallace. Now here's Hayward. An all-star back in 2017. Gordon Hayward remains a quality player, Clark. Yeah, you know, because of his versatility, I think it allows him to still be a high-level player, even now that he's not as ball-dominant as he was in Utah. He still contributes and does so effectively. First one at the line is good. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Both free throws good from Hayward. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Now here's Maxi. Tight defense on him. The Thunder with the rebound. Hayward with it. Giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Wiggins against Batum. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hayward. The Thunder with another miss. And the 76ers with possession. Ten-point lead. Pass to Reed. Maxi with it. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. There's 31 seconds left in the first. Puts it in off the killer crossover. Gilgis Alexander's got 15 points. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Now here's Maxi. He's covered closely. Pass to heel. Let's the three fly, and the three-pointer goes. And the 76ers lead by 11. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. And so it's Philadelphia. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. A comfortable margin for the 76ers here, guys. They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Here's Heald. His last outing, we saw him score 13. We've got Campaign, Mo Bamba out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Buddy Heald, and it's Batum in at the three. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. And there's the rejection. Bamba against Hayward. Pass to Wallace. Williams with it. Got a hand on it. A capable defensive player. That wingspan of Batum, really an asset in blocking shots. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the Thunder are still developing with Jay Gildas Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Ali. Philadelphia has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. And coming back from the All-Star break, these are the squads that are filling it up from downtown. In the third spot, Oklahoma City. As the season has gone on, the ball has gone in more and more. You like the trend. <laughs> They're in a terrific rhythm offensively. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Heald. Hayward with a steal. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Puts it up from 12. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. And the basket by Heald. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's coming off a 19-point game against New York. And that one drops for him. Williams has gotten his first basket of the night. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Payne against Gilgis Alexander. The 11-footer. The shot by Payne, no good. The Thunder have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. To the middle. And there's Wiggins. That's good. On the assist by Hayward. Wiggins has got his first points of the game. Well done by Hayward on the assist that time. He's able to spot a wide open teammate because he plays with his head up. Up top Payne. Still just Alexander defending. From the top of the key. And here's another one for the Sixers. So it's the Thunder now. It's a 13-point game. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. From 12 feet, and it's Oklahoma City scoring again. Hey, you know, this is what you like about Gordon Hayward. He can score from anywhere on the floor. Harris, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Payne. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Here's Wallace. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Strong finish by Gilgis Alexander. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Now Bamba. Here's the three. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Here's Wallace. Guarded by Heald. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Gilgis Alexander with the hammer. Yeah, a defense has to be very aware of Gilgis Alexander's attack mindset. He wants to get to the rim and do maximum damage. Timeout called. The 76ers. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for them. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human, too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. And the 76ers with some changes. Oubre, he's checked in for Batum. Tyrese Maxey comes in for Heald. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Payne. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander. Outside Maxey. Five to shoot. Pulls it from the top of the key. For three, here's Harris. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Wiggins. Wiggins with a screen on Maxi. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander. Taking it inside, SGA. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense. Not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Harris finds Maxi. Lowry with it. Bomba, the screen on Gilgis Alexander. Lowry, the pass to Maxi. Over Giddy and Maxi the bucket on the assist by Lowry. Maxi's got 10. Really showing you how quick he can be with the basketball. Maxi letting it fly in a hurry. And here's Holmgren. Inside, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Philadelphia has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Lowry, the pass to Bamba. Bamba, the screen on Gilgis Alexander. Floats one up. Out of bounds. The Oklahoma City's ball. As we head towards the playoffs, let's see where the Eastern Conference standings sit. Taking a look at the 76ers. They're clinging on to the final playoff spot in the conference. Trying to improve their position if possible. Checking out Philadelphia. They're just not where they thought they'd be as a ball club. Now, after the success they had last season, they were counting on having even a better year. And you know what? Even though the season hasn't been a complete disaster, uh, they're pretty dysfunctional as a team right now. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Boy, a great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. The 76ers have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. And given the chance, Clark, Kelly Oubre has shown he can be a go-to scorer. I always liked his game. He was just so volatile. He'd get out of control at times. But he's really worked hard to refine his emotions, which has helped him refine his game. And he's added some strength. All of that has made him a pretty potent offensive package. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. And Philadelphia time out, time out. calls time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. The 76ers making a switch here. Reed's checked in. First and steals. First and points off turnovers. And they're currently third in team blocks. They do a great job finding ways to put a body in front of most shots. Ranking number one in steals. This team gets after it on the defensive end. They aren't afraid to take chances and go for opportunities to take the ball when they see them. And it's Dort with the ball for Oklahoma City. Trailing by five. Holmgren with a screen on Harris. Here's Giddy. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times.
And he makes a first. Both free throws good from Giddy. The Sixers leading. Lowry outside. Oubre on the wing. He puts up a three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Now here's Oubre. 32 points for him last game against Toronto. And he did his part That's from the line. Drew fouls and made them count. At the line for two, Kelly Oubre Jr. Shoot two. And that one falls for Oubre. And so Oubre nails them both. Here's Giddy. Coming off a 16-point game against the Knicks in New York. So much of the offense ran through him. Looking at the assist total, we saw how unselfish he can be. Now here's Giddy. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Tyrese Maxey. Second team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Josh Giddy. Two shots. Free throw good from Giddy. Trying their best to make a comeback. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. That's one of the ways you trim a deficit. Heels checked in for Tyrese Maxey. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The 76ers have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Lowry, the pass to Harris. Five on the clock. There's the three. Fires in the triple. Harris has got 12 points. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Giddy against Heel. Giddy passes to Holmgren. And Reed pulls it down. Reed's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. And Harris throws it down. I'll tell you what, seems like everything he's putting up is finding the net. And right now, Harris is simply balling out. Here's Wallace. He's guarded by Lowry. And that one's good. Holmgren. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Lowry outside. Giddy against Heel. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Lou Dort. That's his first foul. The Thunder making a switch here. Joe's checked in. Now into the lineup for the Thunder. Number 11, Isaiah Joe. Lowry against Giddy. Lowry, the pass to Reed. And stolen by Holmgren. Right side, Giddy. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Picked by Reed. 
Now here's Heal. Guarded closely. Williams grabs the board. And Williams has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Four-point game. And that one's good. Giddy. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. The 76ers have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Lowry finds heel. Soft touch off the glass. heel has got 13. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Pass to Holmgren. Holmgren with a screen on Lowry. From deep, Giddy. Pure from three-point range. Three point. Giddy's got 11 points in the quarter. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Harris outside. Fires for three. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Pass to Holmgren. Fires the three. Oh, the Thunder, another three. And you can already tell Holmgren has an edge to his game. Gets the three right back. That's the competitive streak you need as a young player. Now here's Lowry. An 11-point game for him in the win against Toronto. Harris passes to Lowry. Shot clock at six. 4-3. And the 76ers, another three. You know, you kind of expect the big threes like that from Lowry. Giddy against Lowry. Now here's Giddy. He's guarded closely. Can't get it to go. His second miss in six tries. Pass to Lowry. Healed up top. Here's Reed. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Here's Harris. Offensive rebound. Heels from outside. Hits a three-pointer. And it's a seven-point Philadelphia lead. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. We are headed to halftime. The Sixers on top. They're up seven. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Thank you for joining us. Getting right to the story. Things are going well for the Philadelphia 76ers. Not to steer us completely off topic, but just out of curiosity. Either of you ever think about coaching in the league? You know, I don't know if I'd be good at it because I get so invested in these games, man. I might lose my cool at a bad call and like just go crazy. My answer is no. <laughs> you heard it here first. No Coach O'Neal in our future. Now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the 76ers. They're playing at a fast pace, seizing opportunities to beat the defense down the floor. That's created some mismatches that have been to their advantage. Running like a young Shaquille O'Neal. Well, I'm still running, Ernie. Running to the snack bar. <laughs> Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. 
They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Here's Lowry. And on the floor for Mark Dagnold starting the second half. In at forward, it's Dordan Williams. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Holmgren in at center. Lowry, the pass to Reed. The kick out to Maxi. Clock at four. Picked by Reed. Fires it. And it's Maxi missing. The defensive breakdown gives him a wide open look, but he can't take advantage. Lowry against Gilgis Alexander from deep. Holmgren. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his third assist of the night. Maxi surveys. Outside Ubre. Pass to Reed. Harris against Williams. Picked by Reed. For three, here's Harris. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the 76ers lead by six. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else. Gilgis Alexander, good. Assistant boy, Holmgren. I mean, wow. Just a great feel for the game, and he's so unselfish. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gildas Alexander, now an all-star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. And it's Holmgren missing. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, got that one up quick. And now it's a 10-point 76ers lead. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot. But it seems like they have just not figured it out. From Pete Giddy. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Pass to Reed. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Maxi taking up that airspace, doing a nice job, just bouncing off the floor there. Gilgis Alexander up top. He's guarded by Lowry. Sinks it from distance. Holmgren's got six points in the quarter. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Philadelphia calls timeout. And it's the 2K leaderboard. The league's most potent offenses since the break. The Thunder fourth. Since the All-Star break, this squad has been on fire on offense. Looking like a well-oiled machine and taking and making high percentage shots. The 76ers have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Lowry. Maxi on the wing. He's got 15. Clock at six. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Holmgren with the block. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the big finish by Holmgren. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Now here's Maxi. An important score for this team. Averaging around 25 and a half a game. Harris outside. Fires the three. The Thunder with the rebound. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. And here's Dort. Holmgren with a screen on Oubre. 
Now here's Holmgren. The three. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Another triple for him. Three in the second half, four total. Keep shooting it. Outside Oubre. Lowry outside. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Oklahoma City trailing. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And he lays it up and in. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. And Philadelphia calls time here. And they finished top five of the association in blocks per game. Their rapid intensity on this end really shining through and helping to intimidate opponents. And when you turn the ball over against this team, they run it on you. You just can't afford to make mistakes against them because they're the best in the league at converting off turnovers. Oklahoma City has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. And slammed it home and a foul. A chance at another point at the line. That one on Harris. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them, and, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Yeah, what's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. against Gilgis Alexander. Picked by Reed. Now here's Lowry. Give him eight points now. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Lou Dort. That'll be a second foul of the game. Heels checked in for Lowry. And Oklahoma City with a change here too. Hayward's checked in. Field on the wing. Six to shoot. They get back on track. And another miss by Philadelphia. The Thunder have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. Here's Williams. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. And now a six-point Oklahoma City lead. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Field up top. Giddy defends. Let's it fly. And that one's on target from the wing. Maxie's got 17 points. Good decision making by Heal. Giving it up when somebody else was freer and in better position. Gilgis Alexander finds Hayward. Heal against Giddy. post and again it's Oklahoma City and you know he's going to take that shot every time the defense has to respect him from the mid-range Maxi against Gilgis Alexander here's Harris and he tries it off the glass but it's no good I'll tell you what they've been aggressive and they've been physical well they're working the glass really battling in that area of the game and Let's help them stake this lead. Now here's Giddy. Can't get it to fall. Six for ten now. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Harris passes to Maxi with the drive. Healed on the wing. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. Here's a drive by Hayward, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on heel. You know, one thing about Hayward, he maintains an aggressive mindset. He wants to keep pressure on the defense constantly by attacking the basket. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Oklahoma City? Well, they found success off the drive, creating a lot of buckets by getting into the teeth of the defense. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. He's off on the first. Payne's checked in for the Sixers. Yeah. 
good on the second one. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Harris. Just five to shoot. There's the triple. Out to Oubre. Here's Payne. Heel the screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Payne. And he nails the jumper. Payne's got the second bucket. And Kitty has got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Leading by five. Pass to Hayward. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander sinks a big one. An exceptional finisher, and some contact like that won't stop Shea completely. Heel passes to Harris. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his third personal foul, second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Tobias Harris. Two shots. The first one falls. Capable of playing both the three and four spots. Harris's versatility is his greatest strength. And Harris drops them both. Thunder with a lead. Outside Giddy. Overhealed. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Philadelphia shooting 40% since the break. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by Hayward. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Williams from long range. It's hauled in by Oubre. Oubre's got five rebounds tonight. It's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Payne finds heel. Pass to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Picked by Reed. Harris passes to Reed. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Good man. The defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. For your Sixers. Paul Reed. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Joe's checked in for Giddy. And he's good on the second. Now Williams, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Pass to Wallace. The three. Drops in the three. Wallace has gotten himself on the board with a three there. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. Payne finds Harris. Thunder foul. Wallace. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Sinks that one from the post. Harris has got 21. 
their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Here's Williams. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on healed. Shooting for Oklahoma City, Williams. Two shots. Shooting two. And he drops a first. No good on the second free throw. Well, the 76ers shooting around 53%, a nice number. Oubre passes to Payne. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. At the line for your Sixers, Cameron Payne. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. And Hayward has got the ball here for the Thunder. Four-point game. Pass to Williams. There's a minute 34 left in the third. And the basket is good. Williams has got four points this quarter. Payne with it. He's got six. Now here's Oubre. Shoots over Hayward. And another miss by Philadelphia. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And Philadelphia calls time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. The Sixers trailing. Outside Payne, inside, here's Reed, and he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Outside, Williams. Pass to Williams. Over Harris, and Williams gets the bucket on the assist from Williams. Williams has got six. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Picked by Reed. And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Bomba's checked in for Philadelphia. Biombo, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Wiggins comes in for Hayward. Now here's Williams. Six points for him. Two 
20 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Nails the baby hook. It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. And here's Heald. 16 points for him. The three from Bamba. That one is off. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's nearing the 40 point mark. We'll be back in a moment. is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Here's Gilgis Alexander. We've got Mo Bamba. Kenyon Martin is out there with Nicholas Batum. Then there's Campaign. And it's Heal in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. It's good. Gilgis Alexander's got 38 points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Here's Gilgis Alexander, makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 in the second half. And the 76ers shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Payne, pass to Bamba. And here's Heald, and he drives in. Here's Batum, counted from distance. Batum not known for his outside shot, but I'd love to see him knock this shot down on a more consistent basis. against Gilgis Alexander and it's good for two Gilgis Alexander's got 42 in the game these defenders really need to man up particularly in the lane Bamba finds heel over to the wing for three another three for Philadelphia backing up that last three with another three the defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Joe's checked in for Oklahoma City. What's up? Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Pass to Bamba. Puts it up from 17. It's hauled in by Hayward. Hayward's got four rebounds in the game. If they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Wiggins for three. The rebound by Bamba. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Stolen by Payne. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. To the middle. And there's Bamba on the assist by Payne. Payne's got three assists tonight. Well, he's a very effective scorer from there. Bamba's excellent at using his size to his advantage. Wiggins with a screen on heel. Gilgis Alexander against Payne. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Batum outside. Pass to heel. From outside the arc. The Thunder pull it in. Hayward's got five rebounds in the game. Now here's Wiggins. 
Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Tries it from the top of the key. It's hauled in by the Sixers. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Now here's Payne. Outside heel. Let's go with a three. Ooh, he's now seven for 12. This guy is simply having a great game from outside. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. And the 76ers with some changes. Tyrese Maxey comes in for Martin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Payne. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Josh Giddy's checked in for Hayward. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. Well, Coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. As always, Allie, we thank you. All right, time for an injury report. And now Allie LaForce with an update on Kelly Oubre. What's news, Allie? Hey, guys, the head athletic trainer for the 76ers let me know the status. The knee did bend backwards, and he confirmed it was hyperextended. Doesn't appear to be any significant ligament damage at this time. With the final games of the season ahead, this is the worst-case scenario injury for them. Here's hoping they can adjust. Guys? Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Graham. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Maxi, that's good. That's why you give Maxi freedom to do his thing, because he's terrific at creating for himself. He'll just Alexander, a screen on Maxi. Again! What an avalanche! And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy from deep. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his fifth assist in this one. Bamba, the screen on Gilgis Alexander. Pass to heel. Let's it go from deep. He drops it from range. heel has got 22 points. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. with a screen on Maxi. Giddy with it. Guarded by Batum. And that one's good. Giddy. 23 points in the game. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. And I like whenever he'll attacks inside like this, exploiting the defense when they give him these chances. Outside, Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Batum pulls it in. Batum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Lowry outside. Now Bamba. Out to Lowry. Batum outside from the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. And that bucket from beyond the arc puts them within reach. He's really been putting that shot to work. You bet he has. I mean, working overtime. The triple's been his bread and butter in this ball game. Nothing but butter. Sweet butter. Now here's Heal. Batum outside to tie it up. The rebound by Wiggins. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Maxi against Giddy. Back to Williams. Pass to Giddy. Down low. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. They get it back. And that one's good. Giddy. Here's Maxi. Oh. 
Here's Bamba. Lowry outside. The three is up. The shot, no good. And Williams has got the ball here for OKC. They've led by as much as 10. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Maxi with it. Now Wiggins defending. Nails it from three. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Now here's Kitty. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Heel. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Maxi. Over Giddy. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, it's not a bad idea to foul bomb, but actually a good foul. He's hard to stop, and he's not that strong a free throw shooter. So send him to the line. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. The 76ers making a switch here. Harris has checked in. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. And that miss could come back to bite them. At this stage, you can't be leaving points at the free throw line. Holmgren with a screen on Lowry. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. Here's Maxi. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Oklahoma City's gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Dort, the pass to Giddy. Now Dort. Back to Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Misses the three. Now Philadelphia with it. They trail by one. Heel against Gilgis Alexander. Lowry outside. Harris with it. To take the lead. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Puts it up from 15. And he drops that one in. Gilgis Alexander's got 53 points. Oh, obviously Gilgis Alexander has the will to win. What a relentless effort. Philadelphia calls timeout. They're trailing by three. 144 left in the game. Reed's checked in for Bamba. One forty-four left in the fourth quarter. Maxi against Giddy. Eleven feet out. Good work there as it goes. Maxi's got twenty-one points in the game. So great seeing Maxi come through in the big spots, continuing to evolve right before our eyes. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Fades. And again. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Giddy against Maxi. And he sinks the 11 footer. Maxi's got six in the quarter. Tyrese Maxi with a big time play down the stretch. The kick out to Williams. Oh, he buried the three. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. 
They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Picked by Reed. Maxey with it. Now guarded by Holmgren. And it's good! And he's brought them within two points now! <laughs> great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. That one rolls around and rims out. And this is so critical. They now have to score every trip up the floor. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. Oh, he drained it from downtown. Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. They're down by one. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth. Your thoughts, guys? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in the game. Oubre, he's checked in for Philadelphia. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Lowry. Oh, he got it! He got it! No fear in the eyes of Gilgis Alexander. This guy's believe in his ability to come up big. And the 76ers call time here. They're losing by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Guys, your thoughts? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. Outside Maxi. Over Giddy. Oh, that shot had a chance, but the all or nothing shot attempt is off the mark. And so the big win by Oklahoma City in a tight game. And this was an emotional win for them, no doubt about it. <laughs> Just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.